Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th. So this reading is timeless, and uh, it's not a sign specific. This is something that is coming in. All right, so let's just see what we have. Stay tuned for the September readings that are being started next. Ooh, the world. That's the end of a phase. It's the end of a, it's something prominent in your life. So something is coming to an end that affected your life in a very big way. You've done all you can do. It's taught you some lesson. You've learned a lesson. Now you're about to leave the past behind to step into your new life. This is a new beginning. You're about to start a new journey. So this is a this is really the end of that phase where you had to learn a tough lesson. I would say that this is for everybody, but I think that this is probably, uh, and I don't usually say this with this card, but for some reason I feel compelled to say it right now, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. But we all have those aspects in our chart, so this could be for anybody, but this is you know, that fixed energy that you have been in where you were fixated on something. It was a big part of your life for a long time. It's time for a change. Okay. She's, she's leaving the past behind. She's glancing back before she steps through. She's about to step through. And this is a she or a he. I'm just saying by what I see on the card. This is a soul that is about to step through the victory wreath. Okay. This is stepping into the future. Stepping into your new life. This is a whole new you. This is leaving the past. That's saying goodbye to the past. You are about to embark on a whole new journey. So that is a new beginning here. Something big. Okay, the world is a big lesson learned. A huge one. Something has caused your evolution. And now it's time for you to start your new life with that lesson you've learned. You know... <laughs> stored in your back pocket per se you know it's now it's in your knowledge bank you learn something right you're ready you're ready for your new life six of cups six of cups is memories nostalgia memories of love there could be memories of love that are in the future because you know she's stepping into the future so in the future you may remember what love feels like Something may be happening as soon as you decide. Because this is literally you can stepping over, stepping into the new life. This is not stepping into the past, so it's not. The, the, the world card is leaving the past behind. So stepping into the future, but remembering. Because this is remembrance. You may still have memories of the past. You always will. But I think that you will start to remember what love is supposed to feel like. Okay? Because you think about the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups comes before that. That's grieving. That's loss. That's crying over the spilled milk. Then comes the Six of Cups. That's, yeah, you got memories there. But the next cup is the Seven of Cups, which is options. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is leaving the past behind. They are going to always remember it. It taught them something. But I think you're going to be making some new memories. This is new. It's newness. <laughs> okay. I even went like this. Seven of cups. You saw me shuffle. Seven of cups. Options options and there's going to be multiple options you know you're going to be presented with choices as soon as you step through but we do have somebody here that keeps looking back at the past they have not stepped through yet there's so many options here this is also a card of consequences so you got to be careful with your choices you don't want to repeat the past so make sure that you really learned from the past. You're going to be presented with some options in the very near future. Very, very, very near future. 
make sure that you learned your lesson and you are not repeating. Because one of the options that you get, or more than one, may look good, but it's not going to be good for you. You will have to remember your past at that time when you are presented with it. And when you are presented with this option, a lot of memories may come up. <laughs> okay, this is what's happening here. This is unexpected choice in love. This is not who you think it is. This is a very strong connection, a sexual connection. Uh, somebody that you can be yourself with. You don't have to be ashamed. That person is going to like you for the skin that you are in. This is... Uh, this is like a gift, okay? This is this is like Cupid. This is like I think it's Archangel uh, Raphael bringing two people together, okay? And it's like this 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 one over here is like what? This is not who I asked for. It's not. It's not who I asked for. But. This angel is saying, and this person's like, hey, why aren't, why aren't I good enough? Why aren't I, you know? So we have, this is like, and this is her looking up at the angel saying, why? Why did you bring me this person, you know? And this angel is like, because it's time. It's time for your new life. This person may not be who you think it is and they're not who you think it is they may not fit the physical district description but this is your soulmate this is a soulmate connection it's not the person from the past even though some of you think it is this could be somebody that you knew a long time ago okay it could be somebody that hmm may have been one of your options at one time but it's not somebody who taught you a major life lesson okay the person that taught you a major life lesson is being left in the past this is somebody new this is an unexpected choice in love with somebody that you are in alignment with but I don't think that they fit the description and it comes all of a sudden this is totally, totally, totally unexpected. This is somebody that you're probably going to fall in love with. They're going to reawaken your memories of love. But I think you're going to have many options, so you're going to have to choose wisely. Based on your previous life lessons. You know, if you haven't learned your lesson, and you want to choose somebody based on their looks, or based on... <laughs> something that you would never date in the past then you're gonna suffer some consequences what I'm trying to say is you have to be open-minded this person isn't gonna fit your list per se but it's a perfect match this is a major choice it looks to me as though it's a soulmate contract. But when you get presented with this option, you're going to have other options at the same time. So you're going to have to choose wisely. <laughs> okay. So this is the birth of a new life. This is uh, a new beginning. It's a major new beginning. It's a major birth. A major new life. Okay? It is. We have a new life here. A new life is about to begin. Now the Empress is the goddess of love. She is unconditional love. She loves uh, 
get, does everything with love. Very, very abundant. Has multiple options. So the Empress is a person that waits, that knows her value. She is very valuable. Okay, she's glowing. She's beautiful. She can make anything grow. She's very creative. She's a creator. She creates life and she delivers. So we do have an empress here that is about to uh, reconnect with a soulmate. Okay? And I say reconnect because our soulmates tend to... You see the circle? They tend, We tend to reincarnate in circles. We tend, tend to stay in the same circles. This is a soulmate connection. This is the birth of a new life. After all the pain, this is a blessing. It's a miracle. It's a connection. It's a deep connection. This is a soul. It's a soulmate connection. That you totally did not expect. It's undeniable. It's time. But you have to leave the past behind. You see, looking back, you can't, you gotta step into, you gotta step into the new life. You gotta re this is being reborn. It's being born again. It's it's it is. But in order to be born again, you have to choose. This is the choice. This is a choice. Both cards of consequences as well, which is interesting. So you have to choose to go to step into the new life. So we do have somebody here that is watching this that is clinging to the past. Therefore they're stuck. They don't they're not they haven't released the pain. But we have a many people here that are watching this that are about to step into their new life and they're about to be loved for who they are, not for what they look like. But then again, we have some people that are going to make a poor choice based on superficiality because there's a lot of superficialness here. Those people haven't learned their lesson yet. Okay. So anyway, this is an unexpected choice in love that is being brought to you out of nowhere. And you're probably going to say, why? Why? You may, you may make me looking up looking up and being why why this isn't what I asked for and maybe it's just the wrong time you know maybe maybe you're just not maybe you, you know you think about the Empress she gives birth when the universe says so not when she says so typically but it's time it's time it's time it's time for for you to be taken care of but you have, it's your choice, <laughs> choice. So this is all about choices. Somebody's going to be presented with an option that they did not expect. With an empress that is very loving, very abundance, very abundant. Okay, this is, this is the goddess. This is the, this is the pick of the litter. It's the goddess of love. This is all about love. Hermit. Now the hermit reversed is probably the end of loneliness. And it is a reconnection. It's time to reconnect. There may have been a period of, and I think it may have been a previous option. You may have been dealing with somebody that was one of your options at one time. It wasn't somebody that you were in a long-term commitment with, okay? This was an option. It was one of your options and you probably didn't choose or they didn't choose you. It was that kind of thing. That's exactly what this is too. But I think now there's going to be a reconnection. This person may have been lonely or they were going through a period of thinking, reevaluating, uh, taking time out. But now it's time to reconnect and come out of hiding and socialize. Somebody has, they're done. They're done. They're done. Um, being alone. It's probably sick of it. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Libra. Taurus. Yes, this is seeing a new opportunity and taking it. I want it. I want it. You should take it. This is an opportunity for love that you probably passed up. This is a missed opportunity right here. Somebody missed the opportunity. They didn't want it for some reason. Now they want it. 
That's what this, I know exactly what this is. I want it. And this truly is a soulmate connection. It is. I feel like that there was somebody that wasn't interested, but now they are. And it's not the one that taught you that made your life lesson. So get that out of your head. For those of you that are thinking that, the answer is no. You're still stuck in the past. You have to step into your future. And there is a bright future here. A future that is full of love and harmony. Okay? These are sixes are harmony. But you have to you have to choose wisely and not repeat the past. No, and you can't repeat the past. We may have somebody here that has been alone for a long time waiting for the past to come back or they weren't healed from the past. Now they're healed and they're ready to be loved. They're ready to be taken care of. And so they're coming out. They're coming out. Because this connection is deep. It's a deep connection and they feel it. So we have somebody here that wasn't interested and now they are. Eight of, eight of wands reversed. Eight of wands blocked. This is blocked. And that's emotions. Somebody may have been blocking their emotions. They weren't communicating. They were in exile, you know. They were in retreat mode. They wanted to be alone. They weren't communicating. They weren't ready. That's I'm not ready. They just weren't ready for the connection. King of Cups reversed. King of Cups reversed is somebody that is not emotionally available. That is withdrawn. That doesn't communicate. That is closed off. May have had a broken heart. Maybe that's why they weren't available. Because their heart was broken in the past. And, or we may have this other person that was dealing with an individual, maybe it was this empress who was dealing with an individual that was secretive, that didn't have good intentions, that didn't know how to love them. This person isn't available for love, period. And clinging to the past has hindered a connection. But the lesson has been learned. That phase is over. We have somebody saying goodbye to the past, stepping into a new life, taking the new option, taking the cup, taking the cup with this connection that is um, was probably feels like it was rejected in the past. It was stopped. Somebody put you know you know was guarded. They put their hand up and said, no, 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 no. I don't want it. Now they do. Woohoo. Queen of Wands reversed. Now this is, a, this, we may have, have, we may have a male that had his heart broken by a woman that slept around. This woman slept around. She was promiscuous. She was forceful. She was self-righteous. Through, through tantrums, was melodramatic, revengeful, controlling, uh, lacked self-esteem or had a self-image problem. The queen, or was not healthy, okay? Because the queen of wands in the reverse is somebody that can, you know, lack ambition, lack drive, um, but is very forceful and throws fits. So maybe that's why they're, and sleeps around, I'm sorry. And, but I mean, it is what it is. I, uh, you know, so we may, we may have an, uh, an, a male or somebody that was with a, a, uh, another person that just wasn't being real. Okay. Um, does it communicate? Maybe, maybe did, did the silent treatment. This is not, no, si this is silent treatment right here. It is. Not, not, non-communicate. Don't communicate, doesn't communicate well. So maybe that's why this person was unavailable. But anyhow, um, 
somebody has learned a lesson. They may have even gotten themselves involved with another person that uh, rejected them or they caught sleeping around. And that was what, but this person was sexy. This person may have been sexy, but looks aren't everything. And that will sure as hell teach you a lesson. This is definitely something about image to me. I get this, I keep wanting to say it. Somebody picked based on looks and they paid a price. They, had, they learned a lesson. Some didn't because they're still stuck there. And they're going to repeat it, but some won't. But anyway, um... We do have a major new beginning here with somebody that is very loving. This is the queen of love and abundance. Everybody loves the empress. She's a natural. She's caring. She's nurturing. So we do, I feel as though we have... A soulmate connection. Somebody is coming in unexpectedly, being brought, being guided. Somebody is being guided towards an individual that will take care of them. After being with another person, I think that slept around. That cheated. And therefore, they blocked their emotions and chose to go into exile, chose to be alone. But it's time for this new birth. It's time for this new life. You've already dealt with the pain. It's time for your blessing. Here you go. So I would say this is definitely all of a sudden. It's going to come in all of a sudden. I think this is somebody that you, you may know. If you don't know them, you are going to feel very, very familiar with them. You're going to feel familiar the minute you meet them. You're going to feel familiar, but they probably, there's something about them that you didn't want. Could be their weight, could be the color of their hair, could be the color of their, their skin. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. I don't have, I'm. I'm not. Uh, I, I'm open to anything, put it that way. That, but to each their own. There's there's some sort of difference that nor you you normally wouldn't. It's not what you were looking for, right? But this person is your soulmate. Could be their ethnic background. I do see that there is an option and there's going to be options all around the same time as well. So be careful. Be careful with your choices or you will repeat this lesson. This is not the person from the past that you were in a long-term commitment with because that is, that long-term phase is over. That's the meaning of this first card. It's over. Step through into your new life. So for those of you that are stepping through into your new life, you are about to get a blessing that, and I think it's from somebody that you may have rejected in the past or they have, may have rejected you because of a previous relationship that they were not ready to, or they weren't healed. They weren't healed from they were still communicating with that person. They were still hoping for them to come back. Something like that. But now this new beginning is here probably for both people involved here. This is a new beginning. This is saying goodbye to the past. And being in stepping into that new life where there's abundance and love and unconditional love. I think it's going to be a shock. I think it's going to be a big, 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 big shock. This is reverse. I think that people, somebody's been trying to avoid, but you can't avoid it. It's time. It's time. It's time to rebuild the foundation. It's time to rebuild a foundation with somebody new.
So anyway, I see a new beginning here. I see I see somebody stepping into a new life, uh, stepping into a situation with an individual that is very loving. Okay, this is this is the goddess of love. So be prepared. Be pre and I talked about this yesterday. Be prepared, and I think you're unprepared. I don't think that you're prepared. I, this is a, this is a shock. It's a com it's going to be a complete shock. You never saw it coming. I think this is somebody coming back around. That I think we're, I've said this multiple times. There's somebody coming back around that. Uh, was passed up in the past because of the past. Do you know what I'm saying? This isn't the one that taught you that lesson. So remember that. Good luck. Where are you going to meet this person? I think they're going to send you a message. Or you're going to send them a message. This isn't the person from the past. That broke your heart. I know a lot of you. I don't know why I got to keep saying that. This is somebody else. I think. I know I keep saying it. But it feels like it needs to be said so much. Because people don't get it. This is another option. It's not the foundation that crumbled. You're not going to be rebuilding that one. You're going to be rebuilding a new one with somebody else. I think there's going to be an instant connection. I feel like... I feel like... Uh, There's something, I already said this, I don't need to repeat myself. Good luck.